Hey guys, I'm Matt Asplund and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In today's video, what we're going to be going over is how to create it so the AI can hear the player's mic and will then investigate the sound based upon the player's microphone. So if the player is talking in real life, the AI is going to be able to hear that. So let me hit play and show you what it is we're going to make today. So as you can see in the bottom left, we have a bar which is going to fill up as I am talking to represent the player's microphone volume and you can also see that I'm being chased by this AI if I just stop talking they're going to stop following they're just basically going to wherever the last noise was heard they're not following the player they're just following the noise so you can see as I keep stop talking they're going to do the same as well and also I'll show you different volumes too so as you can see if I'm whispering they could hear me from there but if I were to go further away if I were to whisper quietly enough, you can see the bar at the bottom doesn't go up as much and they can't hear me. But if I were to go closer over, they will actually be able to hear me, as you can see there. So sorry if this video gets a bit weird, I'm going to be whispering and kind of talking a bit louder in some parts. So let me go a bit further away again. And you can see if I talk even louder, they're going to hear me from further away and the bar is full. And if I talk normally, it kind of only gets half full. And if I whisper, it only gets a little bit full. So without further ado, that's a bit of a long intro into this video. I'm just kind of showcasing all the different things we have in this system. But this is what we're going over and creating today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that Unreal Engine can actually detect our microphone. And this is actually incredibly easy to do, probably a lot easier than you think. So what we're going to do is open up our character blueprint, which for me is in the content browser, so control space, third person, blueprints, BP third person character. In here, all we simply need to do is add a component and add in an audio capture. And it is literally that easy. This is gonna use your default microphone on your computer. So make sure that your default mic is set to the correct one. Especially if you're someone like me who has multiple microphones, you want to make sure the default is correct. And then all we need to do is just tick auto activate as well. So under activation, auto activate, or if you only want this enabled at certain times in your game, just make sure you do activate and deactivate. For example, by dragging in your audio capture component and doing activate like so. With audio capture still selected, you want to make sure that we have enable base submix ticked. And now with that ticked, we can compile and press play and we should hear our voice if this is working. So as you can, so as hear, you can hear, you're kind of hearing, you're kind of hearing me twice. twice. I can hear, I can myself, hear myself in Unreal. In Unreal. It is getting, it is my, getting microphone my microphone and inputting, and inputting it, putting it back, back out, out, me. out me. So that is so that an easy way to easy test, way to if, test it's if it's working. If you can't, if hear, you your can't voice, hear your voice, make sure, make sure, let me close this, sorry. If you can't hear your voice, make sure that you have your default microphone set to the correct one on your PC settings. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to untick enable base submix as I obviously don't want to be able to hear myself in game. I'm going to scroll all the way down and under events, I'm going to get on audio envelope value. And that is essentially just going to output the volume of our microphone. So if we were to get a print string out of this, with this envelope value into the in string, we can see that in the top left, if I don't talk, it's basically zero. Obviously it's very slightly not perfect zero and absolute zero because there's just other noise in my room for my PC and static and everything. And if I were to talk louder, you can see the numbers going higher. And if I were to talk quieter and whisper, you can see that the value is smaller. Now, obviously this value isn't really much use for us at the moment. We do need to do some stuff to it. So let's have a look at what we need to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag out of the envelope value and I'm going to get a multiplication, so a multiply node. I'm going to right click the bottom value and promote it to a variable and I'm going to name this sensitivity. And this just means that we can then very quickly change our sensitivity based on our different mic inputs or whatever we like. And you can also input this into a settings menu so the player can modify the sensitivity as well because each mic is going to be slightly different. So you are going to need to do a little bit of trial and error here yourself to get the values perfect for you. I'm obviously going to show you what's good for me, but it's also good to do this so again, the player can set it perfect for them. We're going to compile this so we can change the value. And for me, I think I found 45 was good for me. And I'll show you how I found that in a second. Out of this multiplication, I'm going to get a clamp with that being a clamp float. Minimum being zero, maximum being one because we want this to be between zero and one so we can get the percentage to input into our widget so we can see it on screen. And also the way the AI recognizes noise is it's a value between zero and one where zero is silent, 
one is full volume. So what we need to do after this is we want to input this into our widget. So let's create our widget so we can do that. We can go control space to open our content browser. I'm just going to go into content, right click, user interface, widget blueprints. We're going to create a user widget. I'm going to call this W underscore mic input as that makes the most sense for me. And we'll open it up straight away. In here, we're going to get a canvas panel. And on here, all I'm going to simply do is just get a progress bar on there like so. Very simple stuff. I'm going to anchor this to the bottom left with the size being 500 on the X, 50 on the Y, position X being 50, position Y being minus 100. Just so it's in the bottom left like that, perfectly for me. I want to have the background image as just a slight gray kind of tint. You can obviously set this to whatever you like, for example, an actual image. And then the percent, I'm going to increase slightly so I can see the color. And I'm going to change the color to be a nice red, like so. Again, you can customize this however you like. I'm just doing something very basic and nice looking like this. Then with the percent, what we want to do is we obviously want to have this automatically update to our mic input. So you can see we have this bind button. We're going to hit bind, create binding. And all we're going to do in here is right click the return value, promote it to a variable, and name this mic level or mic volume, whatever makes the most sense for you. We can compile, save, and close that as that is all we need to do in this widget. We've got it visually set up and we have a variable which we can update. So let's close that, go back into our player blueprint, and now we want to create the widget in here. So let's go up to begin play. Off of begin play, we're going to create widget with this widget being the one we just made, which for me was W underscore mic input. Out of this, we're going to promote it to a variable, naming this mic widget. And then we're going to add this to the viewport. So what we're doing here is we're creating the widget we just made, adding it to the player screen so they can see it, and then also creating a reference to it so that we can update the variable we just made within that widget as well for the mic level. So we now go all the way back down to our audio capture code we created earlier. We can now get our mic widget. Out of this, we can set mic level. So now you can see we're going to be updating the float value, which was inside of our progress bar widget, so that we can then be updating how far the progress bar is filled based upon the value of our microphone level. So let's connect the execution pins into the event and then the return value from the float into the set mic level perfectly like so. Now if we were to compile and hit play, we should see that we have our bar on screen where as I'm talking, it's filling up. If I don't talk, it's at the bottom. If I just talk loudly, it's all the way filled. If I just talk at a normal volume, it's kind of in the middle. And if I were to whisper, it's at the bottom. So this is where you're gonna to want to mess about with your sensitivity. So if I were to then change this sensitivity multiplier to 10, we should see that it doesn't fill up as much. So as you see, as I'm talking at full volume, it still goes up to the top. If I'm talking normally, it just reaches below halfway. And if I whisper, it barely does anything. So you might prefer something like this. Again, this is why we have this variable. So you can just very easily change the sensitivity as you might have a different preference to the player. And again, microphones will also have different levels as well. So I'm going to set mine to, let's say 40 actually, and I'm going to compile and save that. And that is now everything you need to have the mic working in game and showing on screen. But obviously that's not the full point of this video. This video is also having so the AI can then hear this and then go and investigate that noise. So that is the next part, which is actually very, very easy to do. What we want to do is after our set mic level, we're going to report noise event. Our loudness is gonna be our mic level there, which is again, a value between zero and one. The instigator is going to be this character blueprint. So we just want to get a reference to self. And the noise location wants to just be the location of the player. So we're just going to do get actor location. Simple as that. That's all you need to do. You can change the max range if you want, but I'm leaving it at zero because it also is affected by the loudness. So as you saw at the beginning of this video, that had the max range at zero. So you can obviously mess about with this and play about if you want. But for me, this is going to be perfectly fine. So we'll compile and save that. Now that is sending the event out to the AI, we just need to create an AI that can listen to that event. So let's now create our AI blueprint. If you already have one, perfect, use that. I'm gonna make one just for the purpose of the tutorial. And to do that, I'm going to right click, go to blueprint class, 
create a character and I'm going to name this BP underscore AI. Very basic name, but it works for me. And we'll open it up straight away. In here, what I'm going to do is simply just use the mannequin. So let's do SKM Manny. I'll move this into the position that I would like it to be in. Perfectly like so. And I'll just give it the default ABP Manny animation blueprint as well. Then we also want to give it another component, and this wants to be AI perception. We don't need to do much with this. All we need to do is go to the sensors config and add array element, setting this to be AI hearing config, open up the drop down menu of sense and also detection by affiliation, and just tick detect neutrals and detect friendlies. That's all you need to change. You can change other things as well. For example, the hearing range, but I think all the default values are pretty good for me. Then what we're gonna do is scroll down to the bottom where you have the events and we want to get on target perception updated. This will take you to the event graph and you can see you have actor and stimulus. So what you can do is if you want them to just go to the player, you can use actor or if you want them to go to the location of the noise, for example, if the player moved afterwards, what you can do is right click stimulus and split structure pin. And now you can see we have the stimulus location as well. So off of the execution pin, we're going to do AI move to. Pawn is going to simply be get a reference to self. And then if you want it to go to the player, you're going to do target actor into actor there. But that is going to continually follow the player until it reaches them. So what I want to do instead is the destination going to be stimulus location. So it's just going to go to where the noise was made. And that's simply all you need to do. That is going to be it working perfectly for us. We can compile save close this and all we need to do now is also make sure we have a nav mesh bounce volume in the level so to do that we can go up to the add at the top and then search for nav mesh bounds and get the volume in here like so and just make sure it covers everywhere where you want the ai to move which for me is just going to be the whole level to make sure the ai can move in it you can hit p and anywhere that is green the ai can go so i just want to make sure i make this a little bit taller and now you can see the AI can go everywhere within my level. Let's place the AI in the world, hit play and have a look at it working. And now we can see that when I talk, the AI is gonna to run towards where the noise was made. And if I were to stop talking, they're gonna stop where the noise was as well. And again, you can see the bottom left, I have my microphone volume. And if I were to be further away and whisper, the AI isn't gonna hear me until I get close enough. And then they are gonna hear me perfectly like so. And if I were to shout from far away, they're going to hear me as well. And if I'm talking normally again, this all works perfectly for how we want. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've wanted to do. What we've done is we've set up a system in which the Unreal Engine can detect and pick up our microphone input. We can see on screen how loud we are being and an AI can hear us and will go to the noise event as well. And we can then do anything you want after that. So the AI can chase the player if they see them or kill them if they reach them or anything along those lines but we've got it set up so that ai can hear the player's microphone and then go to that noise so i think that'll be it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and hope you found it helpful and if you did please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help the channel out a lot so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one